The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Hey, everybody, this is The Ashholes. Each week, they smoke a different cigar, sometimes the same cigar, but mostly different, and they give their honest impression. They always assign an official Ashholes rating to that cigar. So, pull up a chair, light up, relax, be an Ashhole too. It's very rewarding. Hello and welcome. We are broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. This is the Ashhole Podcast and we are the Ashholes. Indeed we are. Indeed. Uh, today we will be smoking the Hammer and Sickle Series You Need Us. Uh, we've got some delightful news about eating at your local mom and pop restaurants. Nice. And we'll be going through the top five old photos of the ash hole panel. Wonderful. So for our listeners, <laughs> after this show, you should definitely pop on YouTube and see uh, the old photos of Ed and Aaron, because they're hilarious. Uh, before that. But everything else is just totally normal. Everything else is normal. Right? I have a yeah. great photo. You don't even know what it looks like. I mean, I how old photo. could your photo be? You know, a couple of years and then you're in diapers. It's <laughs> true. How, uh, gosh. I, I was mean, like I think I think my photo's older less. than you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you probably weren't born. I yeah. don't think they had. When was your photo taken? Uh, 25 years ago, at least. Okay, we're up yeah. by three years. That's I don't okay. think they had color photography for mine. That doesn't surprise me. No. It is National Old Stuff Day, just is it for really? the record. Yeah. And that's why... We're that's why Ed's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, he's always I'm here. here anyway. <laughs> Every day is National Old Stuff Day with Ed. No, but that's why I thought it was the perfect time to collect our old photos, yeah. our baby photos and young photos, and talk about the old days, the old stuff. So um, <laughs> before we get into everything, we need to talk about this cigar. So has has everybody smoked this? Has everybody? Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. We've even done it on the show too. Okay. When it first came out. One hundred percent believe that. I haven't watched all the episodes in the past. That's a lot of huh. episodes. It's three hundred. Well. Um, not quite. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this is a, a collaboration between United Cigar and uh, Hammer and Sickle. Um, and these were discovered in the warehouse. They had kind of been misplaced and rediscovered, and they thought this was the perfect gar- cigar for the uh, collaboration between the two um, brands. And so we have the series you need us here. You're looking at a, an Ecuadorian Connecticut uh, wrapper mm-hmm. and Dominican binder and filler. So pretty spot on for all of uh, all, all of uh, Hammer and Sickles. What do we got, a Churchill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a long one. I'm like not a real gonna... Churchill, too, because Aaron's the different. ring gauge is yeah. right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron's not going to smoke this the whole... <laughs> He's not going to finish this for the whole show. So um, I think it's time to cut our cigars, y'all. Yeah, I would like to light it. And, uh, and light it. Probably the more important. Did you guys light it already? No. Or did you cut it? Nope. Good. We waited Thank on the light. You. Yeah. Thank you. Finally. You know, getting, All right, y'all. You can only get beat so many times before you learn, right? <laughs> <laughs> but they do learn. We do it off camera, so no one has any evidence. Yeah. Uh, God. Yeah, there's no paper. Sack trail. full of oranges. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Today's lighting is brought to you by Perdomo, the hottest brand in the land, a company founded on quality, tradition, and excellence. And Perdomo <laughs> cigars. You beat me to it today. That was good. I can light it now? You can light it oh, now. All right. That's the plug. After oh. the plug. No, I hope it's when not you can light it. So after I hear that's e- the Perdomo plug. Excellence, then oh. I can light it. And then a random whisper of a word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's your that's your cue. Aaron beat me. I was about to come in with <laughs> <laughs> That works too. We'll do that one next week. Maybe. We can't now. We told everyone. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta yeah. be unexpected. It has to be a teaser. Tune in next week, folks, to find out what I'm gonna whisper. Let's do the password. We'll is. just go like sentence <laughs> by sentence. <laughs> All right. I haven't smoked a hammer and sickle in a long time, but I do feel like for a, a lighter smoke, it's yeah. something I tend to go to if I want something light in the morning with coffee, a uh, little creamier, nothing nothing too punchy. Could I have it with tea? No. Yeah, I don't drink tea, so you're right. Okay, there was a right Yeah, tea, tea's a tough pairing with uh, cigars mm-hmm. yeah. often. You know, you, I mean, you could do like a really dark black tea. Sure. Maybe like a Earl Grey, but most... Yeah, mm-hmm. just they're not gonna hold up to her. Just add a weird flavor to it. Yeah. So you're saying it was a dumb I don't idea. Drink tea. 
Yeah, absolutely. All right. I just drink way too much coffee. Way like I can see to the future right now. I've had like four cups. <laughs> it's it's a big coffee day. Why are you tired? I'm today? very tired. Yeah, the wind, man, it was bad. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Windstorm. I don't crazy like, windstorm. It yeah. was really. I walked into work today wind. and my yeah. hood like came up on its own. Like it. Was, yeah, that's not a good gauge. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, talk about lines down and trees and yeah, just insanity. Yeah, yeah, craziness. Um, so we need to deviate from our. Oh. We need to deviate from our. Original broadcast a little bit. Uh, we right. we had a listener come in, a uh, longtime listener come in today with a bag full <laughs> of goodies. Actually, two things. We had donuts brought by Chef Charlie, yep. who's, who's been here. Thank you, Chef Charlie. Thank you, Chef Charlie. <laughs> and we got handed to us the three-way. Super beef the super three way. beef three ways. Super beef three way. Because he heard us talking about it on the show. <laughs> Carmen's in the audience today. Right. And he brought us sandwiches, because all of us. This was on the <laughs> list of messy things you shouldn't eat while Number driving. one. Yeah, so yeah. we have to eat them on the show because you can't eat yes. them driving. Right. No. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we're not driving anywhere, but we have to eat it on the show. We're going to try not to chew into the microphone. Yeah, oh, gosh, I listeners. can't Do you think someone yeah. will bring us clam rolls next week? <laughs> you can go through the whole list. <laughs> go through the whole messy food list. Guys, this smells... So good. Like, I've been sitting up here, and it's, I don't know, it's been up here for 10 minutes now. It smells so good. It looks messy on the outside. Yeah. Like, it's oh, already yeah. it's already oh, yeah. a mess. I haven't even opened Soaking it Soaking through. Yet. You yeah. can see. So we're so going to pair our hammer and sickle cigar today with uh, the beef, the super beef three-way. Whoa. And, oh, yeah. Um, you can see what a wow. sloppy mess it is. Holy cow. Even before you open yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like a murder scene. It is. <laughs> this it's just is everywhere. a murder scene. Oh, boy. So I heard rumors Ooh. that this might be happening today. Yeah. Um, so did you cut back on lunch? I had only one piece of pizza for lunch. Yeah, I, so I was it. like, if that's the case, like worst case scenario, I'll get more pizza later. Best case scenario, I but have a whole sandwich. How many fries did you have? Probably 10. 10 fries? I had one. 10 fries. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm not judging. I'm just asking. You ate light too, didn't you? Yes, wow, I'm I did. I haven't well, even nobody picked... warned me. I ate heavy, but lucky that's not a problem. Yeah, not that's a problem. like that's take one for the team. What is the wow. problem? Is I'm the one staring at this. I'm the one running all the buttons back here. Yeah. How am I supposed to make this happen, you guys? I he don't know. Also brought us an entire roll of paper towels. It'll like be he needed. walked in with the bag and the paper towels because well, he knew you're gonna yeah. have to pre-distribute some of those. Is that well? I'm already in because once you pick so. it up, it's yeah, you're you're oh, committed. Yeah. I, I'm already. You know what? We're just gonna do one of these. We're just gonna have to like stage out. You how we're doing that this just because you can't really have the mic on okay. while you're even putting it in your mouth so no. we'll uh should we we'll, take it in turns eating we'll, i can mute. yeah we'll, we'll, i can mute we'll space it out you as we go we i'll, I'll hold off until the break and then i'll start there we go yeah. there we go we'll we'll stage this okay. out. oh yeah hook a sister up because i'm gonna whoop, whoop. i'm gonna need this so this go. is also uh the perfect pairing for a cigar. Actually, I have no idea. I think I don't. I can't see barbecue. Yeah, it. usually. But um, and this is on the milder end, so it's not. It's going to be kind of a well, opposite. So. And this barbecue sauce is on the mild end of the spectrum. Yeah, as yeah, it's well. very fluid. You know, it's not like a sticky mesquite or anything like so that. So before no. we before we take a bite, what do you guys think of this cigar? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. always a fan. Uh, yeah, it's, a fan. Uh, it's a very good mild cigar. Much milder than I would normally smoke. Mm -hmm. Even in the morning for me, mm. this is a, a mild cigar, but it does have good flavor. Yeah. yeah. I get a lot of cedary notes out of it. Flavor. Uh, yeah. I can't <laughs> stop now. Yeah. Now it's a problem. It's done. Yeah. And I find that this has a little bit more flavor than the regular tradition mm -hmm. series. It's got a little bit more oomph to it. Yeah. Uh, so it's a nice take on it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm oh, diving Bruce, in. Bruce so, in the chat room is asking for a close-up. I am assuming he I'll means do of, it. Of, yeah. of, Somebody while they bite into this. Do you want? Do you want to do that? You have the I close up. Close up. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> if anybody is listening to this, you need to, you owe it to yourself to go onto YouTube or Facebook and watch mm -hmm. this video because the it's super, to be as amazing. you may or may not know, is on an onion roll. Yep, onion roll. I see that. I see that. Do I see, see the a beautiful of roll. Onion? We're gonna do this. It's got an onion okay. roll on the top. Underneath there may be a piece of roll no, under there. I'll find underneath you with all that okay. sauce. It's just hidden. All right, let's do a right. little zoom in here. Right. A little close up. All right. This is my first right one. In there. This is my first one, okay? I'm moving my mic. I All can't right. talk. That's this right. isn't Go one ahead. of those things we'll that like, creepy guys are into, like All watching right. women eat, and right? And she bit <laughs> into that, the That might be a thing now. Like, who knows? Mm. Sarah's mind explodes. She's so she pretty well there. I mean, I'm sure her hands are a mess, but she... My man. Didn't get a lot on her face, which is, is an accomplishment, really. Oh, she's doing she's well. Got a little bit. She's got a little. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, don't try to talk. She's struggling a little. <laughs> and I'm it's a, everywhere. I'm going to try not to chew into the microphone. Yeah, it's all down your shirt. It's, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I was like, well. This is a challenge for our panel because we kind of have to take turns biting or there'll be Otherwise, no one talk. And then it, right. you definitely would hear chewing, and that's, uh, that's unbearable. There's just no point like, in I cleaning up it. either. Like, Yeah, no, no. I, I want to like wipe my you hands just, off. You, typically, you just bring a change of clothes when you're eating one of these. Yeah. <laughs> wow, guys! Holy cow! This is incredible. We got a we got an Ed bite. An Ed bite. Ed, Ed did okay. Ed did, he didn't yeah. have anything on. He's not he's a pro. He's yeah, a pro. Not his pro. first time around. Uh, we're gonna do wet naps after after this show. Um, definitely. So, like the full body cow. size ones. Yeah. That sauce is so awesome. Mm. Like, That's that, what makes that is it. so good. Wow. Okay. They should sell these, you know? I can also see why. <laughs> yeah, they should sell these. I can see why this was number one on the list. Having not mm -hmm. not been from around here and ever, never biting into this, I without napkins, I'd be... It's not a one-hand thing. You can't even, like, wrap it in the paper of it. And, no. Not because it's coming right through that no. paper. Like, 100, like it's, it bled through my paper already. I'm yeah. I'm going to wipe down all of this. But, <laughs> dang, that's a good sandwich. It's very tasty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Aaron. You you know, guys, if you guys are ready to yeah, talk, I can take a we'll bite. Talk. Yeah. We'll see, you know, <laughs> while Aaron's taking a bite, um, we just we're getting so much love from the fans this week, guys. Holy cow! We got donuts, we got sandwiches. This is great. Um, we did have a write-in uh, from Anthony. Anthony wrote into our uh, our email, and he has some questions for us. So uh, while Aaron is uh, taking a bite, I'm going to read this. Hey, Ashholes. Notice he doesn't say and Chrissy this time. There's there's That's no nice. one. I think I is think it you're, official? I think you're I'm official. An asshole. I think she is. So it's hey assholes. I am a new smoker tuning in from Georgia and I love mm -hmm. listening to Georgia. the show. Oh. I have to agree with Chris. Chrissy is a great addition. I do have two questions for the panel. Okay. Number one, is Ed that dry in real life? Yes. <laughs> I have to imagine <laughs> he plays it up or down while on the show. So let's just address that question first. All right. Ed is Ed. Well, it's not for me to judge. It's yeah. really for you to judge. This is exactly how you are in real life. Yes. You are the most carefree person I think yeah. I know. I think yeah. it dialed down, dials down the cursing a little bit. <laughs> yeah. For, <laughs> really. Well, for, for this, a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, a little I bit. I go to my grandma listen sometimes, and we all cleaned up our acts a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But I this mean, is you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To answer Anthony's yeah. question. I'm not dry. I'm arid. <laughs> arid. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. There you go. Like English it. major yeah. over here. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah. Just the simple answer is, yeah, this is it. I mean, I'm happy inside. I'm laughing. Yeah? Yeah, I'm smiling. Why don't you ever let it come out? Uh, no, too much effort. Okay. Well, not worth the payoff, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What, do you want other people to be happy because they're happy? <laughs> Ed is so laid back that he can't even make the effort to openly... Yeah. Laughing. Okay. No, no, no. Might, might trigger an heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My college roommate <laughs> said to me, you're so open-minded, your brains are falling out. No. Oh. And I thought that was mean. Yeah. What? That kind of... Yeah. That could be a compliment. You think? I'm not sure. Ooh, I feel like it just got called stupid. I mean, it was Aristotle, so it's like... Oh, no, gotta, well, we gotta give it... Way back in the day. Happy <laughs> natural old stuff today. Um... So to answer his first question, I got barbecue sauce on my cigar, guys. <laughs> this is all. This is all I'm not even even taking a bite since my first one. Yeah, it was um, in the final third. You'll be all right. That's for a right. While. We'll get some uh, barbecue notes in that smoke. <laughs> um, so to answer the question, yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. This is it. Yep. Uh, his second question, Anthony asks, as a new smoker, what advice, tips, tricks, or tools would you recommend to me? I mean, I, a solid cutter is. Yeah. I mean. For starters, hundred percent. We, I mean, every every shop you go into is going to have those plastic options, like the little, and some of those are going to last for a minute. Um, v cutters that are cheaper are going to rip your cigar cap off. Don't do that. Uh, invest in a nice cutter that you're not going to lose. I have the the Lotus, Lotus jaws. jaws is is the one yeah. really. Yeah, I the would, price on it's very good. Hundred percent. I've been. You know, I smoke a few cigars a day. Yeah. And I've had the same jaws for a little over three years now, still. Yeah. Cuts as good as day one. Yeah. They run about 30 bucks, right? And they're. 29 yep. dollars Yeah. Solid cut. Yep. Uh, use it all the time. I've got a couple of them, but I really typically only need one. Mm -hmm. It's only if I forget but. it. And like if you need a backup, like you want to carry one of those plastic ones with you, that's fine. But 
solid cutter. To hand to a friend, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you don't you don't want to put them in a Lamborghini at first, right? Good, good lighter. Yeah, a good mm -hmm. lighter. We um, like the Vertigo. Cyclone. We all use Cyclone. this downstairs. Yep. You you have to be and also lighting properly is huge. Um, don't mm. torch your cigar. Less is more. Toast yeah. it a little bit before. Don't let the flame go jamming this down one, into the uh, this, inside this guy of it. Yeah, is always going to have a bad smoke because the whole cigar is torched. Um, it's going to yeah. affect the flavor. You're never going to really. Experience yeah, I would it. say as a new smoker, try a lot of different things. Yeah, to help yes. narrow down. Yes, and if you're <clears throat> if you have a good local shop, get recommendations from them mm -hmm. because you can go in and say, "Hey, I really liked this cigar." Mm -hmm what's like that and they can point you in the right direction yeah generally my advice to new smokers is start light and go from there like if you smoke this is perfect actually this would be perfect for a first time smoke uh the the series you need us and if you if you think you can take it up a notch okay then go in and say i had that i want something a little stronger and they'll hopefully know enough to take mm -hmm. you to the next step um everyone that works at two guys we're very good. That's one of our, our biggest training points is recommendations and talking to people about different levels and different strengths and things like that. Um, start light and go from there. Yeah. Also, uh, just taking note of your draw, like that mm -hmm. you're not drawing too hard. Uh, you know, if you're you're taking in too quick, it's going to get charred. Uh, if you're drawing too frequently. So it's things like when you're first starting, you really want to kind of pay attention to how frequently you're going back to the cigar. Yeah. Um, you'll notice a, a taste change. Like once you get more experienced with it, if you're drawing too fast, if you're drawing too frequently, mm -hmm. you'll notice that it starts tasting charred. And yeah. once you start being able to recognize that, then you can kind of get into your groove of how, you know, what your pace should be. Yeah. You'll get tar buildup at the end um, if you're drawing too fast. Another reason why you'll get tar buildup is a punch cut, especially on a mm. stronger cigar. It's such a narrow opening that you just get so much buildup underneath there. You need to open it up with a V cut or a straight cut. I prefer a straight cut. As do I. I really don't see a difference i think it's just a, a preference thing um but you really need to open up darker cigars so you don't get that that nasty tar gunk taste. yeah yeah at the at the end of your cigar um may i interject it as the newest ash hole yeah i don't have quite the experience of the panel here but the two tips i can give is one don't inhale <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. yes number one and two if i could steal something from mr jonathan is don't Put the lit end in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know what? Don't let him dictate how you're going to live your life. <laughs> oh, <No>. no. <laughs> I was going to say, there it is. There's, there's the if tip. If you want to, you yeah. go right ahead. Oh, wait, no. Doesn't he say to put the lit end into your mouth? You might enjoy it. Yeah, don't do that. Part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think he does. I don't know. I think he does both. I've heard both. It depends. Yeah. But we've had that happen, actually. Like, that's mm -hmm. a joke and all, but like people yeah. will be people have done it. working in the yard or they're they're distracted and bam. If you're putting it down and picking it up a yeah, lot, yeah, that's that. easy to happen. Lit end in the mouth. That's so a bad day. Pro tip, bad. don't put it down. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Unless you're looking at it and you, yeah, can, yeah. you can acknowledge, okay, I'm going to pick up this end now. Yeah. yeah. Just be mindful of how you're setting your cigar down. That's another one. Oh, yeah. This Maybe. is a delightful sandwich. Oh, my gosh. Mm. I know. I took two bites, guys. You guys talk for a minute. I want to eat. Well, and this, instead of talking, let's take a break and so we can all kind of enjoy the sandwich for a little oh, bit. I like that idea. What that sounds thought. like when a great idea. Back, I'll do our top five and some delightful news. Yeah. The following was recorded in front of a live student. Whoop. <laughs> Only Great Leaf makes great cigars. Aganor Salive stands out because of the distinctive mouth-watering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds, cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm, or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganor Salive different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganor Salive. Hello, cigar aficionados. This is Klaus Kellner from Davidoff Cigars. I invite you to taste the elements with Davidoff Escurio, Nicaragua, and Yamasa. From water comes originality. Savor the sweet and spicy originality of the Davidoff Escurio tobaccos born by the rains of Bahia, Brazil. From fire comes intensity. Enjoy the bittersweet aromas and fiery intensity of the Davidoff Nicaragua. From earth comes complexity. Taste the earthy flavors and complex spices that are unique to the red soil of the Yamasa region in Dominican Republic. Only Davidoff Master Blenders could take the power of nature and blend it into a range of exceptional cigars. 
each element making each cigar a unique experience. Water, fire, earth, flavors that have risen from the very world itself. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Davidoff Cigars, cigar adventures to a wider world. Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Totally deconstructed, and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael, it outsells them all. Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Aging Room 4 Nicaragua Maestro. Named Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of the year with a 96 rating, is a complex Nicaraguan puro carefully blended by Rafael Nodal and made by A.J. Fernandez. As Cigar Aficionado described it, every puff is an overture of flavors that's at times heavy and rich with notes of dark chocolate and wood, and other times subtle and understated with hints of fine caramel and toasted almonds. Treat yourself to an aging Room 4 Nicaragua today. Surgeon General warning, tobacco use increases the risk of infertility, stillbirth, and low birth weight. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head, and value, value, value. There are Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian. Here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark, Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five-year-old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well-aged long filler leaves. So, what you do expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional. A flavorful journey into sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take a journey. <laughs> And we're back live in the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire, and we're smoking the Hammer, Hammer and Sickle Series Unitas. If you don't, I'm sorry, I got barbecue sauce on everything. <laughs> I'm like, I was like trying Name to triage game. real quick before, uh, before, and that's just not. It's like all over my show notes and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it, yeah, a little bit. It's yeah, it's a mess. I love it. Um, <laughs> if you don't already follow us on social media. You should find us on Facebook as The Ash Holes, on Twitter at The Ash Holes, and on Instagram at Ash Holes Radio. And if you're new and just listening, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, hit that follow button, uh, especially before they start implementing age verification, or be like Carmen and Chef Charlie and come see us <laughs> live sometime. Bonus points if you bring food, because mm -hmm. we're eating well today. <laughs> It's um, not necessary, though. It's we definitely love to no, see not, not a prerequisite. Anyway. We just, we love people. We'll love to see you. I'm a people person. I'll only talk to you if you bring me food. Oh, right. that's I'm Christy's just standard. kidding. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Yeah, oh, no. Maybe kidding. <laughs> every four at uh, every four at Tuesdays. Wow, every Tuesdays at four. <laughs> I'm, this this sandwich has me like rattled, y'all. It's so She's good. Meat drunk. Um, I'm definitely gonna get the meat sweats after this one. I think I'm not. I'm, I'm halfway done. Aaron and Ed cleared theirs out. Yeah, of the, yeah. Well, not a fresh the, rodeo uh, at the break. Yeah, not your first rodeo. <laughs> But uh, yeah, come see us. We'd love to. We'd love to see our listeners. And for our listeners today, uh, we posted the lineup. We, you always get a little bit of a preview when you watch the show. But we want to show the lineup again. It's a nice uh, lineup. It is a great lineup. It's Next beautiful. week we've got the Perdomo uh, Bourbon Barrel Aged Habano and the Sun Grown. Yum. Mm. We have a, a mystery episode in between that. Uh, Ooh. That uh, Ooh. will be fun for you guys to watch. Then we've got uh, the new Monte Cristo and the American. To finish oh, out the month. This is a great month. If, yeah. you, uh, if you don't already have the smokes, twoguyscigars.com. Check it out. And the American can be hard to get your hands. Yeah, so we do it, have it. So if it's there, get it. I mean, mm -hmm. at least get one. We do have <laughs> it. Um, I, I checked the other day. We very limited. 
very good though. It's also in person in the Nashua store for sure. But I don't know. About we would take pictures of any JC Newman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. So to enter enter the lineup, you just have to take a, a photo with anything in that brand, uh, and tag us and hashtag the photo. So <clears throat> bonus points, you know, if you if you have the actual cigar, but that's all you have to do to enter the lineup and get the lighter, um, that we that we give away. So, so it's National Old Stuff Day. Huh. Yeah. I've let's, said this. Let's bring up some old stuff. Yeah, huh? yeah I, think, I, think I think on that note, it's time for our top five, yeah. you guys. Aloha. Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect 10, and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them, so you can share with a friend. And now, here's today's top five list. So, <laughs> so, uh, so this is going to be one where people really want to watch because yeah, I'm trying be so hard. I'm trying so hard. Uh, you're doing fine. I also love that he brought the paper towels. Like, what a clutch move because a whole roll, as you can yep. see. Right. Yep. The, this top five. Yeah, it, it's we'll, a visual one. It'll yeah. be tough if you we'll just describe listening. as best we can. Yes. Yeah. So on behalf of Old Stuff Day, I thought the Ash Hole panel should go through and find old photos of themselves. That we can share with everybody um, to, you know, highlight the old times, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and so we're just going to go panel member by panel member with a little bonus Dude, member at the oldie, end. You know. Did you yeah. use the picture of me with Lincoln? <laughs> I, um, I couldn't, I couldn't get, that get that one. To, one? No, I, right. didn't, I didn't get that one. Pixel, that is, pixels. That was one of the theater, theater right? Yeah. Poor class. Well, like. they, they were showing Our American yeah. Cousin was what was playing that <laughs> night. Mm. Starring Nancy Keene, I believe. I gotta smoke this cigar. Huh. Yeah, you could check it. I was there. Oh, yeah? okay. Well, let's let's dive in. Uh, so, number one, old photo. This is not in particular order. I'm not like... We're just going in we're order. We're just going of panel in, in a, So the first photo is so the, first, the, first photo. the first photo would be number five if we're going de- technically from five to one. So okay. you guys rate it however you number like. Five. We're just saying yeah. number five is Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. that's me. Uh, yeah, I mean, you haven't aged a day, but who's the kid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's baby Sarah. I think I was like three or four. Um, and that's mom. Little puffy chipmunk cheeks. Super mm. puffy cheeks. Super. With like they were always red. I don't know why every baby photo I have I had red little oh, red cheeks. Oh, the flash. Oh, you the still, red cheeks. You still oh, do they're right now. Eyes, yeah. I I'm super. I'm smashing the sandwich, man. I'm like warm <laughs> from the sandwich. Um, but yep, that's old photo of mom. She's beautiful. She's probably hi listening. Jenny. We love mom. <laughs> we love Jenny. Um, and right. yeah, I was freaking adorable. You can say it. That's fine. Oh, Next, okay. at number four, <laughs> we've got Ed, or Whoa. as I like to say, Rick Springfield, I think. Oh I'm not sure. Yeah. I was yeah. freaking adorable, too. Yeah. And I think that was from 1880, no, 1983. Wow. That hair is incredible. It's good yeah. hair. Is it natural or is it a perm, Ed? No, you can admit. Your hair was natural. naturally that yeah. curly. Yeah. Wow. Looked Get like you had a, a few extra pounds of it back then, too. Yeah. Healthy way. Like, like you look yeah. exactly yeah. the same. Except if you I just get like a big wig. hair. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Like I if you were a wig. Like a big Rick James wig or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or is that what I'm thinking of? Rick Springfield, Rick James, definitely. <laughs> That's Next funny. up, number three, yeah. we have Aaron. And I don't know Ooh. how old I was there. I was probably 11 or 12. Yeah. So you look like but 10 through 12. In somewhere. So color it, it would have been early 90s. Early 90s. That's yeah. definitely early 90s. Look at that t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Metal. <laughs> or something. Yeah. What were you? So we were looking for photos of Aaron in the, right. in the process of trying to select one. And yeah. We, yeah. We not went. easy because, I mean, I haven't updated my profile in probably That's all right. I went deep diving on your Facebook, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And the photo you found was like uh, 15 years old, maybe? It was, was from MySpace, say, 2007. actually. 2007. 2007. And that's only when it went up looked? onto Facebook. So it was actually from earlier because it went on MySpace originally. And Aaron so has aged a day. Like not yeah, no, at all. Not at like all. I was like, that's a recent photo, right? And we looked at the date and it was oh seven. I was like, seven. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. So what's your secret? <laughs> uh smoke cigars. Is it curse. Is, is, no. it is it three ways? Is it is it No, I don't need a lot of three ways. No. Really? No. You should. The They're soul delicious. of children, like Well, it's it, it's it's, it's my own sense. internal uh like um uh, <laughs> I can't even think of the word. I, I fr- I'm frozen from the inside. So oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. So you <laughs> age well. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's Ice move. cold heart. You don't age. 
Number right. two. Oh, look at the adorable. Now, for those who I'm not on camera, so no one can. No guess one knows what you. I know. I'm not a blonde, everybody. Yeah. I'm, well, <laughs> I I am now, but you sent that one to me, and I was like, you have to do that one because I know it's exact. I know exactly which ones you right away. Dark yeah. haired. Um, my adorable. Big blue. eyes. I had blue eyes smile. back then. Yeah. That's my home girl. That's my ride or die. That's my cousin Tash back in Australia. What's up, Tash? Hi, Tash. We love you. Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah. that's that's Chrissy. That's and then Australia. we needed a fifth, right? We needed a fifth. Right. Fifth? Yeah. And so technically, he is our number one. Fifth is good. So well, I mean, one. I don't think it's even technical. It's like this is going to be the number this one. This is our number one. There <laughs> he Murph is. Murph the studio dog. Murph the studio dog. As a puppy. That's he a number is one. I mean, come on. So cute. Murphy the baby with his. He had blue eyes back then, too. And he's Brittany. Uh, Ever, he is a Britney. He's a Britney. A Britney or Britney Spaniel, if you will. But, like, this dog oh. is the <laughs> most adorable and well mannered dog ever. And then his puppy photos are even cuter. Like, just yeah. when you think he can't get cuter. No way. He is cuter. Really? He is the cutest. So come on down. Yeah. Come come sit and, and watch the show. You can meet Murphy. He will <laughs> yeah. be here. Our honorary fifth member yeah. of the Ashwell and panel. The dog's always going to be number one. Always. Always. You know? yeah. Always. That's why when I realized the order we were going in, I'm like, well, it has to be five to one. No oh, offense well. to Sarah. It was more an homage to my beautiful Murphy. Boy. I think I had so. better hair than the dog. I don't know. Uh, Can we do, I wish we could do a side. And the dog still has it. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you did have a very nice shine to your coat. I you must did. say. Honestly, it was beautiful. What was your, yeah. what was Majestic. your hair products? I, a bar of soap? I don't know what kind of product. Mm. Oh, okay. It's hard to recall. It was his diet. He ate a lot of puppy chow. There was a lot of hair. Yeah. yeah. That was a lot of hair. I feel like that'd be hard to manage. No, no, no. It's no. fine. You just like wake up and go. Yeah, shake your head. It's the whole of the day. <laughs> Anyone who's familiar with the movie Coming to America would have a good idea of what product he was using. Soul Glow. <laughs> <laughs> Sequel's um, coming out. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm in a delightful mood now. Oh, How are you guys? Let's see if Ed is. Ed, are you ready? Yes, I've got some delightful <gasps> news to share. Are you tired of the news claiming the end of the world? Yes. It goes something like this. Real wrath of God type stuff. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. Well, it's time for some delightful news. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. I have some very delightful news to share with I you I sure today. hope so. Your wind-up. No was, way. Was, that was a big wind-up. A Wisconsin <laughs> restaurant owner is using his own money to help struggling local restaurants during the pandemic. Adolfo Melendez, who owns the Tex-Mex eatery El Mezcal, knows firsthand the impact the coronavirus pandemic has had on the restaurant industry. Family-based local places like his own have been hit especially hard. It's perhaps why he understands better than most that small businesses aren't simply a source of revenue. They're the heart, soul, lives, and livelihoods of the people behind them. To help stave off restaurant, restaurant cutbacks and closures in his community, Melendez purchased more than 2,000 in gift cards from other neighborhood eateries. Hmm. In these COVID times, it's very important to eat local and support small mom-and-pop shops, he said. You can go to Applebee's or Pizza Hut, but it ain't the same as when you go to a little <laughs> diner or pizza joint. If you help one person and another person helps another, that will help a lot. You can go to Apple, Applebee's or Pizza Hut, or you can just microwave at home and you get I the same experience. I mean. you went supplemental <laughs> barbecue sauce. In the middle of delightful news, I apologize. Um, for those listening and not watching, they'll giggle in the middle of that as Ed's trying to read. Sarah reaches for the extra tub of barbecue <laughs> for her roll. So. No, it's so good. It's so good. The thing about that, so it's got a, a great tang to it. It's mm -hmm. a very tangy sauce, which just so works tang. well. But there's a little kick in that. Am there I not? Am I, I was going to say, no, am oh I yeah, it's got the spice. In yeah. the background, spice? there's just, a, a little bit just of the heat. tingle. Yeah, so I can, I can now taste the cigar again. Like, I just have to say, after it, the break, I was like, no. Nah. It goes well with the cigar. Well, I mean, it's a little bold maybe that's compared to this cigar. It's overpowering, yeah. yeah. But, but uh, that's okay. We've all smoked it before. It's yeah, a good cigar. cigar so. Um, I think that news is delightful. I, I picked it because, I, I don't know, I thought it was cool that someone went beyond their own store. Yeah, yeah. A, a restaurant owner himself doing yeah. that instead of just 
Regular trying to people. fight out the competition. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. I agree. I say bravo for uh, stepping outside of your own and thinking greater. Big picture. Yeah. Right. Shout out to Adolfo. Yeah. Good job, Adolfo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hopefully more people will uh, follow your good lead. Yeah. Or Yeah. Let's just hope we're, people are going out to eat a little more too just yeah. to help those restaurants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any, Honestly, any business at this point. Um, and uh, Yeah, we should be helping should. Chef Charlie. When are we going <laughs> there? I went. Did you? I did. I saw a picture. It was freaking amazing. <laughs> really? Buckley's. Do you Merrimack. recommend it? Oh my gosh! Any? I don't know. If Omg! How, oh my gosh! Buckley's. She went Merrimack. without me. It almost ended our friendship. Really? It's fine. Yeah. I said Cameron, we should go. And then she's like, I went with my boyfriend. I'm like. Oh my god. Fine. There's a whole menu, Chrissy. We could go again. <laughs> it's not the same me- as your first time. <laughs> You're right. It was super special and super romantic. I'm sorry. Connect- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah. All that romance is gone for when gone. you go. Yeah. Well, I used it all on camera. There, there's talk of a new menu item inspired by... <laughs> the sandwich, which I completely understand why. Yeah. Because, wow. dang. I'm still not done. I know these guys crushed it, but... I feel hmm. like this episode should have been just titled The... Three way authority. No. Mm. <laughs> Three way episode. I feel like there should be some rating of <laughs> the, a cigar happening at some well, point. Yeah, <laughs> but I guys, just the cigar is great. We talked about that. Ask. Right. So is the sandwich. What was your strategy with the bar? Are you so dipping was, it right here was, now? No, or what no are you I'm doing? not a dipper because I just feel like that's messier. Here was my strategy. I've got I've got bites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got the tub. Oh, of oh you're pouring pour. it on the bite. And oh. I'm pouring the bite sauce on it right there. Yeah. I feel like perfect the- amount of sauce for the bite. I mean, as long right. as it goes perfectly. If you oh. right, tip your hand a little bit, then it's all over your in hand. In order to dip in the small container, you'd have to have the appropriate biting strategy yep. to create a you wedge. you got plan to plan ahead. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't eat lunch. So I have my own strategy for that, but I generally will only do it at home for I fear it makes me look like a complete animal when I'm out. You oh, take a sip of I it? I take a sip of <laughs> it. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> and then bite the, bite the wow. sandwich. Wow. I yeah, but I feel like if you're in public. I haven't even seen that from you yet. And we watch it it's all the pre- time. I even do it with like tartar sauce and things. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, funny. I don't even. Yeah. It's what are just you doing? Cleaner. It's funny. I, you know, I work in special ed and I tell my students, <laughs> don't do that. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Sad. Why are you allowed to do it? I didn't it's, say I drink it. I said I take a little uh, sip and then I take a bite <laughs> of It's implied. It's implied. I think we better rate this yeah, cigar. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we need to rate this cigar, which is beautifully <laughs> buttery, creamy, light smoke. I love it for my morning. Um. Uh, with coffee, especially if I'm mm-hmm. doing like a flavored coffee, it pairs really nice with it. Um, I would give this a 92. I'm actually right in the same boat. Uh, 92. 92. Um, I'm a big fan of the tradition mm-hmm. original, and just that extra little kick that this gives it is perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I would never buy this because it just. It's, isn't I know it's my out of your thing. wheelhouse, right? <clears throat> I'm still going to go a 90 on it. It's a very well constructed, very flavorful, but. Very mild cigar. Very mild. Yeah. Mm. One that would be perfect for Anthony to try out for mm-hmm. an early smoke if you're just getting into it. This yep. is a fantastic early smoke. Yeah, it's probably like a three strength wise. Like Yeah, it's, yeah. it's super that, light. Yeah. yeah. But um for those who are still figuring out their their taste profile and you know, like don't jump in and do a Neanderthal the first time. You're gonna get yeah. sick. Ooh, like, no, that'll turn you off. Not, not, not necessarily, but there's a high chance you'll get sick, especially if you're not quite sure <laughs> how high, to yeah. smoke and everything. Um, this is a great, this is a great starting point. Um, right. And I still, and I've been smoking for four years now, and uh, I still go to it. That's so. another good tip for the new smoker: have an emergency candy bar with you. Yes, <laughs> yes. sugar, sugar you, helps. You don't know sometimes how the cigar may hit you, mm-hmm. and if you get to feeling it all nauseous. Lessons Chrissy could have been taught beforehand, right. yep. but that's fine. Hey, man. Yeah. Have even, a, even a soda on hand that to help. Have a I nice have been bite of a more. Snickers. <laughs> yeah, but actually yeah. any, or even if you don't have a, a sugar packet under the tongue, uh, will counteract that dizziness, that nausea that you get when you smoke and it hits you too hard. Yeah, if you get um, it early, if when you get to a certain point, then there's not so the problem here. But yeah, 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 it'll. But then obviously stop smoking it. You know, don't don't do that. Yeah, I wouldn't back. say that. But no. uh, okay, I would. I'm not trying to clean up vomit. So all right, what what we have a 92 and 92 and a 90. Yeah, about a 91 yep. for the. You need this a little more. Series yeah, you need this a little more. It's a, it's a very solid 91. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. I'd ask, I almost asked Chrissy what she thinks, and then I realized she doesn't. She had a bad. I'm still tainted for now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get back on the horse eventually. <laughs> All righty, folks. That is it 
for the Ash Holes today. Tune in next week as we smoke the Perdomo Habano Bourbon Barrel Age Sun Grown. You know the drill. Post your Hammer and Sickle cigars to Facebook or Instagram. Tag us and hashtag the brand to enter yourself for that lighter giveaway. Until then, you've been listening to the Ash Holes broadcasting from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem, New Hampshire. We'll see you next week. Bye. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.